And now, news from Tamil Nadu, where AIA DMK and DMK, both of them have fielded the same set of candidates for a seat where elections are going to be held five months after it was cancelled because there were allegations of these candidates bribing voters. This is one first such exercise by the election commission, Sam Daniel reports. AIA DMK and DMK fielding the same candidates for Aravakurchi assembly seat five months after the polls were cancelled in two constituencies over allegations of voters being bribed. A first of its kind action by the election commission. The poll panel and income tax authorities had seized 6.8 crore rupees from properties of former AIA DMK minister Senthil Balaji, former DMK MP Pranli Swami and their associates. In Tanjavur, 26 lakhs was seized. The candidates are still fighting the case, but will be contesting the by-election slated for the 19th. It is not proved. Court very clearly said he can be a candidate. Nothing has been proved. They have filed an FIR on the event. Not that so-and-so has uh, taken money, something like that. Reasons activists striving for electoral reforms refuse to buy. Immediately the candidates need to be disqualified and new candidates have to be put up. Unless and until you do this, things are never going to change. This transfer of money, these freebies are going to continue in our democracy, in our country, and elections are not going to be fair, and people without the money power and muscle power can never hope to contest elections and win. The election commission says it can disqualify only convicted candidates, but in these cases, even trial is yet to begin. In Chennai, with camera person Edwin, Sam Daniel, Find TV.